So today, guys, I'm going to show you how to add what we call a beauty retouch onto a business headshot. A beauty retouch is where we go a little more in-depth with a little more skin smoothing, eye brightening, and teeth whitening. But we also keep it looking natural at the same time. You don't want your subject to look uh, made up or plastered. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm in Lightroom. This is the um, image that I've already added a color correction to. So I'm going to click and do Edit and Edit in Photoshop. Next thing I'm going to come is I'm going to do go to my background layer and click Duplicate Background. I'm going to come up to my Filters tab and click Portrait Pro because that's the program I use to add the beauty retouch. This is pretty much an auto, automatic program. Um, I'll show you when we get in. It's going to pick up all the facial features just like that. So in this program there's a glitch in the mail. If you choose male it does not um, do teeth whitening and eye brightening so always click female here. And I first thing I do is hit reset. So whenever you're editing for a male keep in mind they do not want to look as soft as a female does. Um, they just want um, just that little bit of softening over them to make them look like, wow, I slept really good last night. So just don't make them look too soft. So the first thing I'm going to do is come to my Remove Shine. That's a good tab to use for men. Sometimes the Remove Shine will just get it. Um, in this case, not all the way. Um, so I'm just going to come up to my Master Fade and turn everything up just a bit. See that little subtleness? That's really um, what men are looking for. Don't Remember, just don't go too soft. Next we're going to go to our eye controls tab. I'm just going to brighten those eyes up a little bit with whiten eyes and clean eyes. Eyes already look pretty good here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, I really like this um, feature, sharpen eyes. Just turn that up a little bit. Let me show you the difference all the way up. That's a little too sharp, um, so I just turn it just a little up. And if you really wanted to, um, I probably have a handful of customers, if that, ask me to see the catch lights in his eyes. Um, I have a handful of customers that might ask me to remove that. Not too many. If you want to remove that, all you're going to do is click the Remove, remove Pupil Reflection tab. I don't use that a whole lot. The catch lights kind of give it a nice studio effect. And then I'm going to come down to mouth and, mouth and nose control. This gentleman really doesn't need any teeth whitening, but I'm going to show you what you would do. You're just going to pull up on whiten teeth, clean teeth, and whiten area. Really watch your whiten area. If you go up too far, watch what happens. It does the entire area. We just kind of want it to pick up the teeth. I'm going to turn it back down. I don't want it to look too fake. He doesn't really need it. Still see just a teeny bit of shine up here, so I'm going to come to my touch-up key at the top. Increase my size just a little bit and just do a little painting right there. I'm going to come over to the right hand side. Um, I'm going to click on next and click return from plugin and that's going to take us back into Photoshop. It's going to take just a couple minutes to process. I'm going to click layer and flatten image. And next thing I'm going to do, uh, while I'm in here doing the beauty retouch, I see this one little piece of hair I'm going to take out. So I'm going to duplicate my layer again. And I'm going to come to my magnify tool just to burn it in a little bit. I'm going to select my clone stamp. And I'm going to select an area really near to there that is um, near the color that I want to clone. So I'm going to hit Alt. And then I'm going to click. And I'm just going to burn that. Actually, let me do that one more time a little up a little further because it picked up his hair so we just want, we don't want to do that just do alt and click and see how easy that is to get that out but I have a little bit of the gray on his head so I'm going to click my eraser tool I'm just going to take that out I'm going to click layer and flatten image I'm going to X out of that and that's going to take that image right back in Photoshop or I'm sorry Lightroom and that is how you do a beauty retouch for a male